How is everyone doing today? Well, today's gonna be a big day. I am setting up my maple syrup lines today. Um, as it's supposed to snow a lot tomorrow, like 15, 20, or 15 to 30 centimeters. And I wanna get some of it done before it hits. Otherwise, I'll be tromping through really deep snow. It's gonna be a lot harder. So I'll show you the lines I've got here. I'm just gonna load them up on the four wheeler right now. But I've got 2,000, actually I've got 2,500 feet of line right now. And then I cut 500 feet of line for my taps, which I'll show you in a sec here. This is the first year I've done drop lines because um, there's some hills here with all the trees coming down. So it's gonna be pretty awesome that way. So right here, we've got I don't know, probably 250 taps maybe. I've got a bunch more. I'm hoping to do 500. I've got 1,000 feet of line here, 1,000 feet of line here. And I've also got another 500 feet of line in the car. But I'm gonna start with this and see how far we get. So I got my girlfriend, she's gonna help me with this as well. So we'll hop on the four wheeler here and then we'll drive on up, pick her up and then go on out to the woods and we'll show you uh, what we're gonna do here. Okay, so here's some of that sugar bush here. It's gonna be uh, all drop lines. I haven't walked up here yet. So we're gonna walk up quickly and try to figure out the best way to do this. Um, it's probably gonna be some zigzagging going on, I would think, and, and we'll see how this goes. Yeah. Probably wanna find the tallest or the tree that's top, not the highest, and then uh, go from there. Looks like there's a bunch over here too. It's gonna be uh, a lot better than buckets, that's for sure. And there's a few in there too, so we have to do some zigzagging. Start at the top and weave our way down. It's a long hike, eh, right, Ainsley? We'll go grab the line and haul it up and see what happens here. It's gonna be exciting learning experience for everybody here. Okay, so I've got some of my attachments here. This is for the end of the line. So you can hook the tubing up and around, which will go on to here first. So I'm gonna set that up right now. And then this is the tool I bought. It's super awesome. Yeah. So I'll get Tristan here to film me because I can't hold two things yeah. at once. So all we're gonna do is pop the tubing in like this and you clamp it down. Well, let's do this better. You clamp it down. There we go. We have another one since I dropped the other one. And you pop this in here. You push this together. It should make a nice seal. There we go, just like that. So that's gonna go around and hook onto there. But we'll show you that once we get to the top. Okay, so we got our line here ready to go. We're gonna hike up here a bit. I'm not sure the best way if we should leave some of it down and I just pull it up because we're gonna do some zigzagging here. You know what, let's let's have you down here and then I'll take the end of the line and then I'll just pull it up. So we'll see how this goes. And we want it really tight, so we're gonna interweave it. And then, yeah, you have to lift, there you go. And these trees, the owner, previous owner has tapped them as well. So we know that they will be good trees. And they're a good diameter, so should give some good sap. So here we go. First time setting 316 lines. So I'm doing 316 drop lines. And what that does is creates vacuum. And from everything I've been told and researched, you need to have about 15 to 20 taps per line and at least 30 foot drop for it to get maximum vacuum. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. Hope I'm making sure I get all the maple trees. So, this one is maple as well. So we'll come around. Let's wait for the funky camera angles. There we go. And I think the other one I saw was at the top here. So we'll hike her up through the woods here. And I'm probably gonna use some other trees here too for leverage. And here we go. Here's the last maple here. What I'm probably gonna do is trim out some of these branches here. I'll have to come back later to do that. But we'll wrap it up and around. And 
and set the end of the line just like this. There we go. Okay, so that should do. I'm just gonna pull it tight. And one other thing that they had given me is uh, end of the line thing I can put here so the sap flows down instead of coming backwards. So we'll pop that in in a minute, but we're gonna come back here first and make sure everything's tight and up over the branches here. There we go. Just a second, Ainsley. So this tubing you can pull pretty tight as well. Tighter is better than looser. Okay, coming down here. Oops, walking in the trees here, not the best thing to do. Okay, we're almost down here. Okay, do you wanna pull that tight if you can? Okay, you might have to put the whole tubing down. And then these are probably the smallest trees that you wanna tap. You don't wanna do anything any smaller than this. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna set this down for a minute and once we get this set up, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I've sent Kristen back to get some wire because we need some wire for the end of the line because the end of the line hook, let me see if I can find it here. You put this in, you hook this to the wire so that you keep the line nice and tight so that it flows properly. And then you take the other end here, put another piece of tubing on to your barrel, which we will set down there. So in the meantime, I have got my taps here and I'm gonna go up quickly here and set the tubing on the trees that I want them at and how many per tree that I'm gonna do. So got one here, one here, one here. These ones I could probably do two, but I'm just gonna do one for now. We can always add on later on. And that's Ainsley waving. Hi Ainsley, see you later. She's a hilarious kid. So as we go up here, I'll drop one, one, and then when she gets back, we can get it nice and taut, and then we can uh, pop the tubes on the main line here. And then we should piece it up, hopefully. This shouldn't take too long to do. This tree here has got three on it. So let's come along this side and take a look and see what it's looking like here. We could probably do three on this one for sure. One, two, three. And then over here, we've got these guys. We can do one per tree here, one per side. One, two. And this will just be the process, process up when she gets back. Okay. And then should count how many I have per line as well. And this one here, I'll drop one on as well. This one I could probably get away with two. We'll do one to share, see how she works. Okay. So there we go. Now, while we're waiting as well, let's head back to this side. And I'm going to find the next trees that we'll start at. We'll get this set up. So we have two lines running to one barrel is the plan. And I don't see any maples up here. So I think we'll have to start with these, these three here. Ideally, it'd be nice if there are a few more here, but that will work. So there's three here. One, two, come on. They're kind of tangled up and hard to get apart. There we go. Got three here, so we'll come from these three. We'll make our way down to these two. And this one's a bit small, so I'm gonna omit him. 
come back to him in a few years. Okay, we've got those ones, so we can hopefully wrap around and pop them on these ones here. So this guy here, I'm gonna do two on him because he's pretty good. And another thing, ideally, you wanna put your tats on the south side of the tree because that's where the sun's gonna hit first and it's gonna warm up and your sap will flow early in the morning as opposed to if you had it on west, east or north. North, obviously it's probably gonna take a long time for it to warm up and flow. So south side is the way to go. And uh, there we go. We'll wrap it around, hit those trees and hit those trees and these ones. So once we get, I get this done, I'll show you uh, the next step of us finishing the other section there. So the second line I'm just doing here has 11 taps on it. And this one here, I haven't counted yet, but there's probably about the same. One, two, three. Yeah, I'd say about the same as well. Whoa, there's my first slide. How exciting is that? So we'll head back down, get the tools we need. And hopefully Kristen's back in a minute here with the other things we need. Okay, so we're definitely not prepared for this. We need to get some proper wire. The wire she had for the end of the line to hook the end of the line up. It's too thick for it to attach around it. So I'm gonna to need to go buy something to attach it with. And then I'm gonna to have to figure out, I'm gonna to have to pound the pole or something into the ground here with the wire so we have nice tension from that section to here. Because we're gonna put the barrel here, because we're gonna have a line coming from there, and a line come from there, and then put them together here. So we have two lines into one line. That's the way it goes when you've never done this. So I'm gonna go set this next line up, and I'll show you what that looks like in a bit. All right, we got the other line set up there. I'm not sure if you can see it there. And I'm just gonna head back to the top here quickly. Let me tell ya, you, you wanna work out, come help me set some lines. It's uh. I don't have legs to seal by the end of this. So I'll show you the end of the line quickly here and what it looks like. And what I'm gonna do right now, I'm not gonna put my other lines on, drop lines onto the lateral lines yet because of our first sight with the lack of equipment we need. But come around this side so it's a little easier to see. End of the line, for the end of the line hook to wrap around the tree to keep it nice and snug. I've got my end of the line tap, which has got a block here. So when I put my tap in here, sap won't run around this way. It'll flow down. And I'm just gonna pop one on here right now, just like this. I'm gonna use my tool for that because it's gonna be a lot easier. And we'll try that out. Just give me a moment here. Let's see if I can figure this back out. Back a bit. Step back a little ways there. And then point it up higher, tip, tip it like this, right like that. Okay, there we go. I've got Ainsley helping me with the camera right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop the end of the tubing into here. And we'll lock her on here like this. And this tool is awesome. It was a bit of money, 270 bucks, but it's gonna save a lot of time. And just gotta figure this out here. Just line it up properly. Hopefully we're going to get it done, says Ainsley. So, sorry I'm not doing this too well. I'll have to readjust here. It might take us all day, I think, Ainsley. Especially because I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm not being a very good example for everybody out there. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this works. Here we go. Lock her on slowly here. There we go, we got it. There we go. Okay, thank you, camera girl. Okay, so we got locked on. So that's just gonna tap into there in the spring. So what we're gonna do for the winter, we just pop in this hole here and it's ready to go. So we head back down. Actually, I have to head to the other side, do the other one quickly too. But then we'll head back down, do another line in a few minutes here. Okay, so I just popped the other one on there as well. So we're good to go. I just want to get the end on here so the crap doesn't fall into it over the winter time so we don't get contamination in the lines. Okay, we will head down back to where Kristen is and set up the next line. Okay, we've got about eight different lines set up now coming down. 
and you can see some of them here. I've tried to set them up so that we can get two lines to a barrel. So we're gonna set up a barrel right here and then that's going to have both lines coming to the barrels here which will make it easier so we don't have to uh, go from spot to spot to collect so much different sap. The same with over here. I'm not sure many, how many taps will be on this right now. I'm guessing probably closer to 150 to 200 right now with all the trees I've done. Some of these trees you can do two taps in, some one. So here's another section with two lines coming down that will drop a barrel there. And it's nice that they're close together. So we just pop a trailer on the four-wheeler with another barrel. And I think I'm gonna have to get a 12 volt pump with the battery so I can pump the sap into the barrels. And there's another line here and there's two more lines over there that will hit up in a separate barrel. And there's still so many, so many trees up top. Oh, other thing I should show you too is all along the trail here on the little side here, there's a whole bunch of trees here as well. There's probably at least 20, 25 taps we can do along the trail that will pop into buckets, which is not bad. There's a whole bunch in there too, depending on how much I want to walk into the woods with the snow. Probably need to get tons of snow up in this area here. So we'll see uh, what it's like when the spring hits, when I come back for the syrup season. But I'll show you this one other line. And the lines aren't super tight right now, just because, like I said, I don't have the taps, the actual connecting parts in, and the barrels and the metal line. So once we get the metal wire to hook the end line in, that should keep it nice and tight so that uh, the lines don't sag over the winter. I'm sure we'll have to readjust anyways. And there's one other line here. I think there's about 10 or 15 taps on that one. And there's still a few more lines I want to do in here. But Kristen had to go to the bus and do a bus run. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to the front of the property where the slope is. It should be easy for me to do that by myself and run a line up there. I should probably get 25 taps off there, I would think. I'll go do that quickly and show you guys what that looks like as well once I get it set up. Okay, so we're back out of the sugar bush here to finish getting the line set up. But I've got some wire now for the end of the line and I came with the other day and I topped in some T-posts here that we're going to run the lines here with some wire. So I have to actually go to the top again and pull them tight. And while I'm doing that, I'll get Chris in here to wire some wire up here so that we can pop the end of the lines in. So once we get that point, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so we got the first one down here. It's nice and tight. I might have to come back in the spring with a cold and warm heating it up and down. The freeze and thaw might slack up a bit. But we've got it here at the end of the line here, hooked on nicely. And this wire should hold it nicely. And I got a lot of extra line here that we'll have for popping into the barrel once we bring it out. And she's setting up this one. So I'm gonna run to the top of this other line here quickly and pull that one nice and tight. So how did that go? Good. A little easier than I expected. Fun, yeah, it works really well. I'll show you the tool in a minute. I think I showed it previously, but so there we go. We're going to go finish the other end of the lines quickly. Then once we get that done, I'll run back with the tool and the lines, the drop lines here, which I'll pop into each section of the tree. So everything's ready to go for syrup season in two and a half months. Okay, so we got our last tree done here. We don't have a T post over here, but we just tie up to the old dead tree here. And they're all tensioned up nicely here, come up through the woods. We may go run one more quick line um, up here because there's lots of trees up there and try to run it down, put a barrel here as well. But we'll see how that goes in a few minutes. What all right, that? what we're going to do, I'm gonna just, we're going to put our drop lines on the trees because we've got them all set up all the way down. And we're going to do it here in the, what is it, December right now. So we don't have to do it in the spring, right? So we don't have to walk through all the deep snow then. And uh, we've got our top lines already set up with our three-way. I will pop it on while she films me doing that. And this tree is probably a bit skinny, but that's all right. We're gonna suck some sap out of that. I've got my tool here from CDL. It's a 3 16th one, as opposed to uh, the 5 16th one you can get as well. And it's great because it holds a tension on the tree here. So what we'll do here, you want to make sure that it's closed when you do this. Now I'll lock the clamp in place here. And you take the cutter here, you cut it. It releases the tension. And then now it's easy just to pop your three-way in. 
See if I can do this properly for you guys to see. There we go. You just push your tool together and snug right against the barbs so you get no leaks. We'll have to check these in the spring as well just in case animals have been by. You just take your spout, pop it in, and good to go. So we'll continue down the line and I'll show you the finished product once we're done there. So there you go guys. There's uh, me setting up my maple syrup pines for the spring. I'm hoping for 500. I've got 21 in so far. So I'm gonna move on to the next spot and tap away and see, well not tap, but put the drop lines on. So they're ready for the springtime. And then all we have to do is bring out the drill for the springtime and drill away. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, please subscribe to my channel and watch it. Helps my channel out a lot. You guys check it out and share it around. So we'll see you out there. Have a great day.